In this video, I'll show you how to create a Microsoft admin user account. If you request remote IT support from us, you'll have to follow these steps in order to give us access to your Microsoft account, if that's what we're helping you with. So specifically in this video, I'll show you how to create that account and which roles to assign. First step, you navigate to the Microsoft Admin Center, which is admin.microsoft.com. Of course, you need to be an admin yourself. So you go here under users, you might need to expand this. And also, if it's not shown, sometimes you have to click show all. So users, then go to active users. You might have a shortcut here, but that's, that's where we're going. Then here, click on add a user. Okay, so first name, last name, that's actually not required. As you see, there's no asterisk there. So you're adding an account for us to access. So most likely, you know, this is for you, but really just, you probably want to call it our business name. And if you want to add a first and last name, I mean, you can, you can do this if you want. Uh, what's important here for us is just that you put in the correct username. So I'll put in Apex One Tech. And the capitalization here doesn't matter. I'm just showing you that just so it sticks out a little bit better. And the domain should most likely be on your main domain. Okay, which sometimes you might have this funky one here that says like, Netro something, Microsoft, okay, choose the one that's your actual domain with this drop down menu. Okay, so yes, you want this check marked, automatically create a password, require us to change the password that's not required. You don't have to check box that, but you can. And send password and email upon completion, yes, check box that. And then here, input our email address so that we receive this password and can log into this account. And that email address is client, admin, at apexonetech.com. And again, the capitalization doesn't matter here, it's just to make it clear. Then click next. Okay, and here under licenses, we do not need any licenses. So click create user without product license and click next. So you could assign roles here right away, but we'll actually come back to this. Okay, and this gives you a summary and if you need to add any additional information you can, but that's not required. So click next, click finish adding and click close. And now you want to set the admin roles. So also in the same place, users, active users. So find the user that you just created for us, checkbox it. And then here up top, you should have something that says manage roles. And if you don't click on your three dot menu here and there it is, manage roles. And so far you just created a regular user but you want to select admin sensor access. So for those of you for which we are your managed service provider, most likely you'll give us global administrator access. So that essentially gives full access, okay? So you don't have to and depending on what we're doing with you, you can give just the exchange administrator, right? If we're helping you with SharePoint, just that or with Microsoft Teams or Teams phone, that's Teams administrator. So just select the appropriate one that you need to, right? And if, again, if you give global and you could see these info pop-ups here, but global gives us access to everything. You can also go by category, but really these should be enough. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead with global administrator and then I just click save changes. And that's all. So now this account is a global, in this case, admin account. So you can close that. And finally, and optionally, you can also add us as a contact for your global address book. And you do so again here under users and contacts. You can also find this as a mail contact in Exchange Admin Center. But let's go to contacts. Okay, so for this client, I already have our support email address, but let me show you how to add this. All right, so you'll click add a contact. Again, first name, last name, you don't need to put that, but this would be right, our company name and our support email address. So support at apex1tech.com. Optionally, you can also add profile information, so our company name, the phone number, website, things like that if you need to, just so you can um, have all the contact information to reach us. And then click add. Okay, so the contact is added, says it might take 30 minutes to show up in Outlook and things like that. So you're good to go.